everybody, it's Tamika. I'm back with the design team project for the Cutting Cafe. This week's design team challenge is twofold. So I love when that happens. As you guys know, two projects in one. Love it, love it, love it. Regina is hosting a blog hop. hop. I know we're in YouTube land, but this is a blog. And she will be giving away um, prizes. So each person that you hop to will be given away the file that they used in their hop project which is so cool. So um, that will be um, Friday or Saturday. They will upload their winners to their blog. So be sure to check that out. And um, also check out the Cutting Cafe for the project links for this project. I use the Polaroid file, um, which I love. I've used it. This is my third project using a file. And I think it's very versatile and it's so cute. So that's what I decided to do today. Um, I use this paper from Colorbox called Hopscotch, and it's so vibrant, nice bright colors, not anything that I normally would work with, but I adored it when I saw it, and I'm loving working with it. So um, check it out, Colorbox Hopscotch, and what I did was um, my daughter's Taylor and Kyla and I went out on like a girl date and we went shopping. We went to get some ice cream from Ben and Jerry's. We went to get a quick lunch, quick bite to eat. And then we passed by this park and I saw that the sun, I'm not, I mean, I knew the sun was out, but I paid attention to the surroundings of the park. It was fresh grass was cut and, you know, the sun was out. The benches were um, cute and um, shabby chic is what we want to call shabby chic what the bench has been weather abused <laughs> that's what it is really but it was cute um, so I decided to do a quick photo shoot because I carry my camera everywhere because you just never know a photo opportunity I had it with me and I was able to grab some pictures so um, I took pictures of that day in the park and also I wanted to this mini album and book and box to serve as a reminder to my girls that they are sisters and they know they they go through those I don't like you you're not my friend and then 10 15 minutes later they're the best of buddies they're playing dolls who knows with them? I don't know. They have their own little sister language world. So that's cute. But this day, they were best friends. So that's why I titled this. And this, some of these things are fussy cut from Regina's file. And some of them are fussy cut from the paper collection. So I titled this and I shaped it as, um, because we were doing shopping, running errands and doing little girl stuff. I shaped it like a little bag, like a little shopping bag, a smaller one. It's cut up in five by seven and I handmade everything with lightweight chipboard. And then the top I used, um, to look like tissue paper. You guys can see. And I just had some of the ribbon that I tied in with the front of the album as the handle. So that's how this looks. And on the sides, I have some, um, some uh, trim in hot pink rosette trim. This is the back. Isn't this paper so pretty? So pretty and so versatile. So I'm stepping outside of my element and I'm loving it. So that's why this is shaped like this. And at the bottom of the box, I have some flat marbles hot glued to the bottom so it can stay standing when I display it on my craft shelf, um, craft table in the living room. So that's why I titled this Best Friends today because yeah it's on again off again relationship so um this is a fussy cut from a film strip fussy cut from the paper collection all i did was print it out on some of the hopscotch paper if you can see the polaroid die is my uh focal point here i just have this uh, organza trim and then some more of this bow in the center just to add some elements to it um, that's the best friends and then I have a little arrow this is cut out from Regina's file as well so I love 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 that very cute so I will pull out my fold tissue paper <laughs> so that's that look at the album it's just darling I love it put that over there so look at that it's so stinking cute I love all this and then I used another one of the uh, organza kind of to go over my flower collage and all I did was cut some flowers out um, some I used circle dye some I used uh, SVG file on my cameo and then I did this roll rolls here just from the paper all of my all of these are from the scraps because I wanted to use them sprayed it with my shimmer you can tell on there and then this is Regina's banner file um, from her 
uh, from the Cutting Cafe. And then this is the Polaroid die. This paper cut, this is cut from the paper collection, says hello. And this is pop dotted up here. And then I just punched out some little hearts and put some glossy accents on there. So it's like, hello. Love it, love it, love it. Love it. This mini album is lightweight chipboard, as is the box. And it's cut out at 4x6. And then I just have our pictures from that day. This is a camera from the file I fussy cut. This is from the paper, paper collection. It says you and me on the road again because we were, again, running errands. But this was a good photo opportunity. So I love this tree. And um, here's the Polaroid die. Just put it at an angle since the paper was angled that way. They were angled another way. I turned it. So it kind of all went together and I just cut it off at the bottom. So those are my girls. Um, Taylor is 12 and Kyla is now 7. So, and then I um, used some of this pink paisley um, decorative element down here. I used a, a pad that I had. Tried to use those up. And it's adorable. That's from the paper collection. And then the Polaroid, of course. Focal point. Try to put it down. Maybe it's a little easier. And then uh, some more, another one of the Polaroid. I love that it's cut out. You can cut it out in whatever color you want to cut it out. I love the black because it it blocks out everything else so that you can just focus on whatever's inside. So I like that leftover banner border. And then that's just, um, that's Kyla. And then the memories here by the tree again. I added some extra pictures from other shoots that we stopped by and did, so I put them all in one. And then this is the moments from the from um, the pink paisley. Say cheese. Here I love doing this. Um, it's so cute. It just brings it right to their faces. So I this is the Polaroid. Smaller comes in four um, different sh um, sizes. A two small and large. So um. But check it out. I put it in the description box. I put both of their faces around a Polaroid and then added some hearts that I punched out. And that was the bench I said. Just looks so rustic and cute. But I know they didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> it's it's weathered very, very much. Um, so that's that one. Turned it the, side, the sideways and just put some parentheses around her. Because I love that tree. There's Taylor again. So yeah, this is just elements from the paper collection. More of the die cut. I cut the whole bottom off on this one and made it like a frame. And this has more of the full uh, Polaroid. And that's the last one. Cut that out from the paper collection. Left this blank. I'm going to write something in there. Um, basically the story that I just told, I'll write it in there. So that's that. I tied this um, or I bound this with my bind it all. Just cut the holes and bound it with my bind it all and some black rings. So um, let me know what you guys think about this project. It was super quick, super easy to make the box, which is five by seven. And then the mini album is four by six. And, uh, you know, just wanted to have something to hold it that would, um, last a while. And, um, let me know what you think. Leave a comment and then make sure to visit the cutting cafe for this file and more. And also stay tuned for the blog hop. There are lots and lots of lovely projects in store for you. You could win the file that they are presenting as their project. So stay tuned for that. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.